Elhorst with Kirksville Web Design, KWD Web Design. I'm looking at Google Sites Web Design, and we have a new update that dropped today regarding Google Sites. We're going to be looking here at the uh, official post from the Google Workspace Updates blog. Introducing new collaboration flexibility features for Google Sites. All right, so today, April 11th, 2023. What's changing? All right, so interesting. They're kind of uh, letting us know they still care about Google Sites. They've made some updates. These are few and far between, but nonetheless, they're updates that have happened in the past, I don't know, six months maybe. Spacer, density theme settings, stylized social media links. Spacer has been helpful, yes adding space around certain areas above and below to the sides. Uh, no, size not really much, but yeah, to above and below. A little bit helpful uh, for spacing. Stylized social media links. This has been uh, somewhat helpful uh, for certain sort of icon packs or icon quick link type of things. Not just for social media, any, any image can be uploaded there. Today we're announcing even more enhancements to improve upon collaboration within sites. I don't really know how much of the collaboration they're really speaking to here. We'll see. We'll, I'll show you. All right, what's first? New collaborators cursors appear in the site editors or t while they're typing within the text tile. Okay, so just like Google uh, documents, essentially, you see where where their cursor is, what they're editing in a text block. Nice little fine-tuned uh, feature there. Collaborative? Mm kind of, but I mean, how often are two people in the same site? Honestly, uh, not many. Usually it's one content owner, one per page, or one sort of designer developer in charge of a Google site. But interesting, nonetheless. Okay, update. Display your content with more flexibility by adding page frames. Adjusting your site width for desktop viewing within custom themes. Okay, so we're going to see. This is interesting page frame colors are customizable with options include normal, full, wide. And they kind of give you a demo here within this uh, GIF. Normal, wide, full. Can't really tell much uh, just from uh, this little uh, screen share here, but uh, you can see kind of the top though. Interesting, they got like kind of a margins bar that you would see within uh, Google Docs. Interesting. I'll see if I can find anything also that's interesting within this. Uh, it's like a very Google-esque, you know, a uh, site template, site theme. Doesn't look like anything else is new, any more hidden features that I can find within here. We're talking about the spacing area. So that density thing that came a couple months ago, that's here. You know, interesting. Uh, I haven't adjusted it that much. It hasn't made that great of a difference, but that's there uh, as far as the three, I think, density settings. Uh, width, so they're toggling it through the normal width and full. Um, okay, I'm looking at the top here. The navigation, interesting, it does kind of create margins uh, for bringing the navigation in, whereas uh, you'll find that the navigation, like currently, it's always like right aligned, it's all the way to the right, and it's kind of hard to uh, you know, if you only have a few links there in the top right, uh, you may look past it. So, interesting. Uh, what else is new? So that's enabling page frames also. Okay, so he's using the page frame. And the page frame color. So that's what they talk about with the framing it in and then adding like a background color to like the, the wrapper essentially around a website. Yeah, not many websites use that uh, nowadays to kind of like crop it in, you know, but I can see where it'd be useful if you, um, you know, maybe people are, you know, people complain about like too much white space essentially on the left and the right with, uh, you know, if they have extra widescreen monitors or something, it can be a little distracting. And maybe a bit too, too much white space, they may uh, make comments. So it kind of crops it in, brings it in with the page frame. Interesting. Have some like lorem ipsum still here within this uh, little screen share gif. Lastly, we're adding alignment options to buttons. Okay, this is nice. 
alignment options to buttons, allowing you to align buttons left, center, right, within a group, align buttons, shrink to fit their text, allowing a button to be narrower than the group containing it. So yeah, you'll see as I demonstrate here, but like, you know, buttons, they were always like fitting into the, the vertical stack grouping that you had, and they were always like full width within that group, like they're showing right here. But they're showing, I guess, you insert a button, Let's watch as they do the demo button. Insert. So, you know, it starts off that size, it fills to that size, but here we can see they align it center. Oh, okay. And it says it's, oh, okay. Yeah, so if you do the line option, uh, it'll fill the, the, the block. Whereas you can just slide it center, it'll just fit to the text, like the amount of text that you have in the button. Uh, center, left, and right. So that's nice. Um, it's kind of a, a little annoying thing, you know. If you only had like a click here uh, within that button, you know, it was spanning sometimes like the whole width of the block, and that was uh, a bit unsightly at times or a bit too much uh, for a button. So, okay. So it's just those three items, and they talk about like kind of the rollout uh, that they're expecting with uh, rollout pace. Rapid release scheduled domain, so it's coming out very quickly. Be able to play with it all, all here in April, all this month. Okay, so that's um the Google Sites uh, three updates. Uh, always a pleasure to see a new uh, Google Sites update roll out, and this is kind of like packed package three updates into one. You know, which is nice. This shows that they're really uh, putting some development into these uh, items that kind of help with the aesthetic and designing Google Sites. So good to see. And, and hopefully more to come. You know, we look for more kind of functionality things uh, besides designing sites, which I mean, that's my, my bread and butter. You know, I love to, to design and develop Google Sites, but if we can take it uh, further functionality wise, I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. Uh, even bring in collaboration as far as Google Spaces is concerned. They're putting development to Google Spaces. How can we tie those in between Google Sites and Google Spaces intranets? And then other, you know, functional things. Uh, still looking for page level uh, permissions and uh, some, you know, things that will take uh, the functionality further and take uh, intranet building uh, further and just uh, making it more of an enterprise level solution. Okay, so that's it for uh, for today, this Google Workspace update regarding Google Sites, three updates into one. I'm Kyle Horst. This is Kirksville Web Design, KBWD, Google Sites Web Designer. Thank you.